Most content creators and brands spend way too much time editing videos, but it doesn't have to be that way. That's why we asked some of the best editors in the game to edit the same exact video using the top five beginner editing platforms to see which one was the easiest, fastest, and had the best overall video quality. The results will surprise you. So let's tour each platform's free features. Filmora's version is a bit of a mixed bag here, as it markets itself with all these fancy AI features, but you actually don't get any of them in the free version. I mean, nothing, zero, nada. But you are given a huge library of text presets, animations, transitions, and audio files. You do also get access to more advanced editing features like motion tracking and even green screen editing, which sounds pretty great, right? Well, the kicker is that they're going to be slapped with a giant watermark all over your video as soon as you click export. Next up is CapCut, which actually started its life as a mobile only platform. For my social media users out there, you probably know this app already, but the desktop version is getting super popular. And the interesting part is that the free version is loaded with a ton of features. You get access to your basic editing tools like cutting, trimming, splitting, that kind of stuff. But where it really shines is in the preset library. We're talking text animations that actually look good, tons of effects and filters that don't make your video look like it was shot on a potato. They're even nice enough to give you free users access to AI features. Just don't go expecting anything revolutionary. Then there's Podcastle. Podcastle's whole mission is making editing super simple for complete beginners. The free version allows you to record, edit, and publish all in one place, but the free version does take this a little too literally. Sure, it allows you to create content on the go with remote recording, more on that in this video right there, and it gives you access to all of the basic editing tools as well as text features, but there are no animations right now to tie this all together. They do throw in one AI feature though, and that's filler word detection, which automatically removes any ums and ahs and uhs, but that's only available for audio editing, which is perfect for podcasts. Just check my notes here. The viewer better stick around to the paid plan features section or else you're fired. Noted. Okay, uh, next is Canva. And you might think that this one is just for editing images, but they've actually been quietly building a video editor as well. The free version gives you access to a huge chunk of their media library, but premium assets will have a watermark on them. Canva also gives you limited uses of their AI text and image features, but if it sounds too good to be true, it's probably. Canva. And as for the free version, well, the editor is super limited. Also kind of slow and clunky. More on that in a bit. But finally, there's iMovie, the editor that has been hanging around your Mac since, well, forever. iMovie has all of the fundamentals like cutting, trimming, transitions, everything that you need to put a video together. But here's where it gets a bit disappointing. And that is the fact that they have no built-in asset library. The tech situation, well, you get some presets, but they're about as basic as it gets. It does come with a background noise remover. And while it's not gonna work miracles here, it can definitely help clean up your audio. It's also the only editor in this video that is completely free, like 100% free, but it's only for Mac users. So there is that. Femora hits that sweet spot between easy and powerful, while CapCut's basically built for social media success, and Podcastle gives you that easy, streamlined, all-in-one workflow. Meanwhile, you've got Canva, which gives you a lot of images and video B-roll, and iMovie, the OG video editor that keeps things pretty basic. So after editing the same video in each, which one is the easiest? fastest and who had the best overall quality. Let's start with the fastest. Coming in at last place, Filmora, with it taking about 20 minutes to edit a two minute clip. Our editors found themselves constantly scrolling through their massive libraries. The UI is organized well enough, but there's just so much content to sort through. Every time I needed a transition or effect, I had to browse through dozens of options. CapCut clocked in at 20 minutes here, the main time sync and loading times. Every time I switched between AI features or opened the effect library, there was this slight delay. It's just a few seconds each time, but it definitely adds up when you're doing multiple adjustments. Canva and iMovie were actually tied at 15 minutes apiece with their more streamlined interfaces and fewer features to load, our editors could conveniently at least move quickly between tools. But Podcastle surprised us by taking the top spot with just 10 minutes. The interface is stripped down to just what you need, and the loading times are minimal. Plus, those AI tools actually delivered results quickly and accurately. Oh, that's nice of them to say. And you can actually see that same exact workflow that got such quick results in Podcastle by checking out this tutorial video right there. But speed isn't everything, especially if you're a beginner. So let's see how they rank them based on the ease of use. First, let's hear about Filmora. 
So the first thing I noticed in Filmora was how clean everything looked. But then I started clicking around. There are just layers upon layers of features hiding in these menus. It's organized well, but there's just a lot to discover here for a beginner. Over in CapCut, our editors had a similar experience. It feels familiar if you've used any video editor before, but there were moments where I had to stop and think, okay, where did they put that tool? It's clean, but there's definitely a learning curve. And PodCastle, once again, it was super easy to use everything's just there. No digging through menus, no hunting for features, though I could see how more advanced editors might want some more options. As for Canva, well, I had our editors scratching their heads a bit. Trying to edit a video without a proper timeline, it's quite tricky. Simple tasks like cutting out mistakes became weirdly complicated. Finally, there's iMovie. If you've ever used an iPhone, you'll get this immediately. Everything makes sense, as long as you're not trying to do anything too fancy. All right, so the verdict on ease of use. The editors found Filmora and Podcastle the most intuitive, but for two very different reasons. Filmora packs in all of the features while staying organized, even if it can be a little overwhelming at first, while Podcastle keeps things a little bit more simple and focused. CapCut's desktop version left our editors missing the mobile app's polish, and Canva had them longing for a proper timeline. And as for iMovie, well, it's perfect for all of the basics, it just left them wanting for more. Now, while we asked our editors to only edit using the free versions of these platforms, what if you loved it so much that you wanted the paid versions? Well, Filmora offers three tiers. Starting with its basic at $44.99 a year, it gives you the fundamental editing features, but with no AI tools. The advanced version comes in at $50.99, and this includes AI features with a thousand credits per month, but you will pay for the extras. And finally, with the perpetual license, this one comes in at $59.99, and this, lets you keep a specific version forever, and it includes the same AI credits, but you'll need to pay for the updates. CapCut has two plans, monthly at $45 with 1,800 credits per month. You see $25.99 on the screen because they had a discount at the time of creating the video, but they also have a yearly plan at $250 with a total of 21,600 credits each year. And both plans also include AI features, analytics, and connections to three social media accounts. Podcastle's pricing structure is a little bit different, but a lot more valuable. The Essentials plan starts at $14.99 per month, and it unlocks more video recording hours, text style presets, and audio AI features. The Pro plan comes in at $29.99, and this is where things get exciting. You get AI video enhancement, revoice capabilities, voice cloning, 4K downloads, and my personal favorite, the feature that edits short vertical clips in just seconds. By the way, we actually have videos coming out on how to use your cloned voice and how content creation is changing in general. So subscribe if you are curious. And for larger operations, we also have the business plan that comes in at $69.99 per month when billed annually, which offers expanded storage and features. Plus, we've also got 50% off your first month, a PodCastle Pro, if you're interested and that means it's only $14.99 a month. Moving on to Canva Pro, it costs $15 per month and it adds unlimited templates, brand kit, and one terabyte of storage. Their team's version at $10 per person per month offers the same features with real-time collaboration, but you will need to be paying for three users. And iMovie, well, it's still free with all Mac and iOS devices, and pretty much what you see is what you get. Now, if all of that is still a little confusing, essentially, here's what we're looking at. Filmora and CapCut use credit systems that might require additional purchases for heavier users. Podcastle offers the most AI features and ease of use for your dollar, while Canva's paid features focus on design tools rather than video. And iMovie is, well, iMovie. And now, on to the big one. Which is the best for you in your unique content journey? Well, here's what our editors thought. Filmora stands out as the top choice for YouTube and content creators who want professional grade features without too much of a learning curve. CapCut was our editor's clear winner for social media influencers and casual creators. Canva is ideal for marketing professionals and creators who need a quick turnaround on videos based on templates. While it's not great for complex editing, it does excel at creating branded content quickly. iMovie is the best for beginners or for those of you who are already bought into the Apple ecosystem, or if you're just wanting an easy entry into editing videos in general with super basic tools. And Podcastle is perfect for content creators who want to streamline 
streamline their entire workflow. Being able to record, edit, and publish all in one place makes it especially valuable for YouTubers who want to focus on creating rather than juggling multiple tools. So in the end, it really depends on what you want to do. If you want to have an easy process and be able to create more content in less time, then Podcastle is probably going to be the best option because you can record, edit, and publish all within the same app. And thank you all so much to our video editors for all of your help in this one. We love you. And for you, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget that awesome Podcastle promo code linked down below in the description. And we will see you all in the next one.